It was astounding, Adrian. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of launches of rockets blasting off into space, and that alone is stunning. I mean, they're so powerful. The flame is so bright, and they're so fast when they go. But this is the first time I've seen rockets come back. What is it that made that so unusual? Like, how difficult a maneuver was it? They slow down a bit when they're at high altitude, and then again just before they hit the ground. And it's a precise landing. They know exactly where they're going. And what's amazing about this is that as they're coming down, they don't kind of hover and then search, you know, like a helicopter. They just come and they stop. It's all done in once. It's so precise. And they can use them again. And that's, well, that's the whole the key, reason. right? Absolutely. What Elon Musk and SpaceX and the other private companies are trying to do is to reduce the cost of space flight. Because when the space shuttles were flying towards the end of their, their lifetime, they were costing about a billion and a half dollars every time they took off. And that's nuts. It's so, so expensive to go into space. They're doing it for one-tenth of that. Because I suppose previously, this would have been junk at the bottom of the ocean. I was thinking about that when we were there. In fact, we were joking about it. I thought, if you could make the waters off Cape Canaveral transparent and see the ocean floor, you would see thousands of old rocket boosters. Because they've been rocking, launching rockets there since the 1950s, even late 1940s, and they were always throwing them away. So part of what happened yesterday is that, that one of the boosters didn't make it back to its spot. Had this been NASA, we would have seen that footage, <laughs> but we haven't seen a thing. No. And, and that's part of, I suppose, the fact that this is a private enterprise yep. and, and he controls what we see and what we don't. It, the, the private element of this makes some people nervous. I doesn't mean, should make, it? Doesn't make me nervous at all. It's the same thing that happened in aviation, okay? Airplanes were developed because of World War II and they needed bombers. So, so these companies developed these big four engine bombers. But then after the war, the, the military said, okay, we don't need them anymore. These same companies put windows in the sides, put seats in them, and we had airliners. And it turned over into the private company, they made a business of it, and that's why you and I can fly. So how are they gonna divide up who does what then? NASA should be taking the big risk that no company can afford to. So they should be going out to the frontier like they did before. Not just back to the moon, but out to Mars, right out to the edge of the solar system, developing scientific robots that can go fly through the clouds of Titan, the moon of Saturn. I wanna go sailing on the seas of Titan. Bob McDonald, thanks very much. Adrian, always a pleasure.